One of the things that leaders do that absolutely contributes to this dysfunction is taking responsibility for feelings versus leading. So they're not actually leading. And and disempowered leaders, really, they allow their fears to determine and influence their decision making, and they make up stories to distort the reality, right? I gave you some of them, right? Oh, they're going to quit. They're going to leave. I'm going to be without anyone. I'm going to be like, it's catastrophe. It's like, so, you know, and again, that emotional experience is so real that even when we say to them, really, has anyone ever quit over, you know, a little correction like that? It's, it, they just reject it. They argue it that their feelings, how they are feeling are facts. There's no evidence to support it, but in their minds, their feelings are facts. And when challenged, they feel driven to even prove the accuracy of their feelings, even if they do start to notice flaws in that thinking, right? Of course, we can correct people's performance and they're not going to turn around and have a temper tantrum and quit, right? So, but again, they're predisposed to misinterpret others' innocent comments or body language, take it personally when someone disagrees or criticizes them. And they can spend so much time considering their inadequacies as a leader that they erode their self-confidence. 